Sportages. Sport gets smarter. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Sportages cast, where we bring you insights into the sporting world straight from athletes, sports biz, sports professionals, and more. As you know, the Sportages cast is now video and audio all in one, so you can listen in, you can watch it wherever you are, and you can make the most of these conversations that we have. Our guest today is Pire Valdivieso, who was born and raised in Barcelona. He moved to Australia in 2011 to improve his English skills. And in 2016, he realized that padel tennis, one of the most popular sports in Spain, didn't exist in Australia. This led to his dream of bringing and introducing the sport to Sydney as the first Aussie location. This dream came true. And from that day, he's still involved in the sport. Today, his company, Paddle in One, works to promote and develop the sport. And he's also involved with the Australian Padel Federation with the same goal. Pere, welcome to the show, mate. Hello, how are you? <laughs> good, mate. Good luck. I'm really excited to get into this. This is the first ever Padel video cast and Sportages cast that we'll be doing. So really, really pumped. Uh, look, let's get right into it. Padel in Australia, I obviously gave a bit of an introduction, but where did the idea come from? What made you think that, you know, this is a good place to sort of grow the sport? Yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a funny history because in 2015, I got a dinner with some Spanish friend in, in Sydney. So during that dinner, we started talking about yeah, different things. And one guy said, oh, I would like to play paddle, but uh, I think I didn't find a place in Sydney. So next day, I start thinking about uh, yeah that, that question and the same. I started looking for a place to where we can play paddle, and I realized uh, not not even a club in Australia. So in my mind, I said, okay, why not? Could be a good uh, opportunity to bring uh, yeah the paddle in, in Australia because uh, as as you know yeah paddle uh, around the world now is very popular. Every year is increasing with uh, more countries and uh, more people uh, start play, playing paddle. So I check and I talk with some friends, also with my, my sister now here in Barcelona. Is, uh, she, she was playing uh, paddle and I said, OK, yeah. I got the idea to bring the paddle to Australia. What do you think? I said, man, you are crazy. This is impossible. You are, you are not Australian. You don't know this. But in my mind, I said, OK, I'm going to do this because I believe because Australia have all the same um, weather, the same climate. Uh, in Spain and also the, the, the countries with the south of Europe and also they love uh, racket sports and yeah. I said okay I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work and yeah I decided to start moving to thinking about, about this and yeah and the first uh, approach uh, I tried to set up uh, yeah, the, the paddle federation and I put in contact with international yeah, paddle federation and sent an email and explained oh it's better now I'm in Sydney I'm from Barcelona but I would like to develop the paddle in, in Australia so uh, they replied to me and said, oh, now it's another group of people. They try to do the same. If you want, we can. Yeah, uh, I put in contact with, with you and yeah, you do discuss about this. And yeah, at that time, yeah, they replied to me and it was uh, Matt Burrell. He was uh, with the same idea. He's, uh, he's Aussie. He's, uh, lo he's in loving with, with Paddle. And at that time, we start yeah, talking about this with the project. And we are both uh, enthusiastic about this. And from that day, we start thinking about this. And almost six months later, we will have uh, our first paddle club in, in Sydney, in Moore Park. So it was the first step to, to introduce the paddle in Australia. Yeah, look, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. And you raised some interesting points there, which I do want to talk about a little bit later, such as, uh, you know, the, the similarities in weather and how Australia is sort of a great or an ideal playground for the sport to grow and develop. But then also you touched on uh, your sister who, who played the sport. Uh, so what's your own background with the game? And, you know, you obviously mentioned your sister, but uh, I know that it's really popular in Spain, but I think in Australia, when anyone thinks of Spain and Barcelona in particular, we think of uh, football, obviously, or soccer, as we call it here. So tell me a little bit about that. No, this is uh, for me, to be honest with you, my first time when I played Pine was in Sydney. So I, ne I never <laughs> played paddle in Barcelona. <laughs> But I used to play all my life uh, soccer, even here in Sydney, I, I play in North, in North Sydney. 
So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of friends, a lot of uh, 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 people around me. They play paddle in Barcelona, and I I said, okay, why not? Why not in Australia? Uh, and also, I check how it works. And yeah, after that, I decide yeah to to move forward uh, to introduce the sport. And yeah, for me, when I play with the first time here in Sydney, is uh, yeah, it was a great experience. But also, uh, I I had this, the, the 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 same feeling of uh, the new people, the beginners, to introduce to the sport. So for me, I can share my feelings with them and also said, okay, now, now I'm pretty sure it's going to work because when you play for the first time, uh, you go, you, you're loving the sport. Because I think the key of this sport is easy to play because, for example, tennis, squash, or another uh, racket sports need to have some skills and also for the serve. But here it's really easy. The serve is bounce the ball, hit the ball, start playing. So, and also the, the great thing is that behind you is the glass. So the ball never go out. So it's easy yeah. to, to pick the ball and keep playing. So I think this is uh, why around the world and also now in Australia with uh, our three clubs uh, is very popular. Yeah, look, um, you know, maybe I should have asked this initially because a lot of people who would be tuning in, watching or listening may not even know what, what Padel is. And, uh, you know, I can give that, obviously, that introduction, but coming from an expert such as yourself, uh, you talked about squash, you talked about tennis, they really come together in when it comes to pedal. So tell me a little bit about what the game is and, you know, a little bit about the history, because obviously it's very popular in Spain and then in South America in places like Argentina. Uh, so please go ahead. Yeah, I define um, the paddle like a mix of uh, tennis and squash. They combine uh, different, uh, yeah, for example, it's, a, it's like a, a tennis tennis court, but you uh, they introduce a, a wall be, behind you. So it's a mix of both uh, sports. So the, the main the main idea is when when you surf is underarm, really easy to to surf. They use the same uh, points like like tennis. And, and, and the game and the set is quite similar. So I think it's, it's to mix both sports to make easy to play, but also uh, you are allowed when you hit the ball uh, to, to leave the, the cage and keep playing. So this is uh, really funny. And yeah, and this sport, this is uh, beginning um, in Mexico because one guy have the idea yeah, to introduce some, uh, some walls in tennis because they said, oh, I'm really old and it's difficult to play there. And with the idea, then moved to, to Spain, in the south of Spain, to, to Marbella. And from that point, moved to another, another countries. But uh, as Spain and Argentina, uh, the last uh, 30 years, the, the paddle grow there. But uh, from the last 10 years, they expand a lot of in, in Europe. But, uh, and, and right now, for example, in Asia Pacific, we have different countries like Japan, Thailand, India. They are, yeah, build up some, some paddle courts. And yeah, and our target is uh, not just all in Australia, but in different countries uh, in Asia Pacific, develop the sport and create a good community. Yeah, look, it's it's really interesting because I haven't yet tried out the game, <clears throat> but I've played tennis and I and I play squash quite a bit. And from what I see, it's and correct now. This is where I ask you: correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's very dynamic. It's not as difficult to learn as squash is, for example. And there's a very uh, successful sort of social and recreational aspect to it where people can come in. And, you know, we had a conversation before this where you were telling me about how, you know, the first time you come in, you have a bit of a hit. The second time it gets a bit better. Third time you're ready to go. When you play squash, for example, or even tennis, it's the learning curve is much steeper. So, what what is is that is that the key attractiveness of the game? Do you think that that is a way to really rally and bring people in to sort of start playing the game? Yeah, uh, I think uh, yeah. For our experience in the clubs in Sydney, Gold Coast, and Perth, everyone is coming to play. Uh, the first and the second time that they are they are playing, they love. And one yeah. of the other key for me, because it's more popular around the world and in Australia, it really works, because it's a social sport. So it doesn't matter you you, you play with your friends, with your, your, your family, 
uh, you come in there, you play for an hour, hour and a half, but after that, it's compulsory to have a beer, to have a drink, to have a chat, you know each other. And there, for example, when we organize uh, some tournaments in, yeah, in Gold Coast, in your, or Perth, uh, we organize a barbecue, we organize a paella, because it's Spanish, uh, Spanish yeah. food. <laughs> and, and the idea is to create a good com community. So the idea is to know each other, to create a new friends, but also at the same time, you play some sport, you enjoy a lot. And, and the idea is instead to quit tennis, uh, squash, or another sport, is keep playing. Because if you love play uh, tennis or rocket, uh, rocket sports, please do it. Because in paddle, is a combine of, uh, of both sports, but really easy to play. And doesn't yeah. matter your level, because you can play with people with the same level, but also every time that you improve, yeah, new people coming through and you move, change your partner. And, and the idea is that it's like uh, doing a sport, but also uh, have a, a fun time. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so, Perry, you know, you mentioned the Australian, <clears throat> excuse me, Pedal Federation. And, you know, you've been involved, you've been involved with it, you've been involved in the initiation of it, the formalization of it. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, when uh, we set up our offense club, uh, we, we decided to, to set up the federation because uh, we believe this is very important to have uh, one, one place where uh, all the clubs, they, they will be built in Australia, uh, join forces and create a, a good community. Because uh, now, for example, we are part of the International Paddle Federation. And for us, it's very important because they can give us uh, some advice, some consulting. So the idea from the next month, uh, the idea is working to agreements with different uh, yeah, paddle sports, especially with, with the Tennis Australia, because I think it's important to work together yeah, to develop this sport. And, and also for us, it can help to, to get the promotion. Because uh, from uh, our feelings, I think um, more than 80% of uh, the Australian population didn't know yet uh, Paddle. So for us now, the key to, to, to improve uh, to more clubs and more people playing is the people need to know this sport. Because as I mentioned to you before, uh, you never play. So I think it's important everyone at least play once, uh, try this sport, and at least uh, they know how to play and also have the chance to say, I like or I don't like. 100% or 99% they're going to love, but, uh, but they need to, to try. And from, from, and from the Federation, the idea is that to be, to be a more formal sport, to get recognized in the future for uh, Sports Australia, so and create a license, have a ranking, like uh, the other sports, squash, uh, badminton, and different sports. But also for us, it's very important uh, to be very formal, and at least uh, be a part of uh, all the sports in, in Australia. Yeah, 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 for sure. And you know, you what I what you talked about earlier was you know the weather, uh, how it suits, and you know you've obviously gone all into this now with paddle in one. Uh, why do you see the sport uh, well suited to this market? Why do you think that it fits into you know this this? very sort of saturated sports market in Australia where you've already got tennis, you've got, um, you know, you've got rugby, AFL, cricket, uh, soccer or football is also played quite regularly, even at a participation level. So where does Padel fit in, in your opinion? No, for us, we, we are working uh, at the first uh, step is to introduce the Padel in uh, tennis clubs because, as you know, in, in Australia is a very popular uh, tennis, but some clubs, they have maybe 10, 12 uh, tennis courts, but maybe just only use six or eight. So our idea is, okay, give us the chance to put a uh, paddle in your facility. And also it's going to help to bring back all the people quit for A, because become older, because uh, he's not fit, he don't like uh, to run all the time. And introducing the, this new sport can bring to the clubs to keep people uh, playing there and also bring bring back to, to to another people that quit before because also we check in different clubs in tennis class for example they bring a new sports like a uh, futsal or a uh, pickleball yeah. but for us it's the same okay instead to, to introduce new sports paddle is a racket sport and also can fit in our uh, in our idea and how to promote uh, the, the tennis clubs because I know that the market 
they have a lot of sports and but uh, but but for us i think paddle is a uh, can fit perfect with because it's for all ages and also yeah for the kids from the school to create a good community and to learn a new sport but is involved with a uh, with the tennis uh, skills yeah absolutely and i you know i find it great that it's so uh, it can potentially be so easily accessible while being social having that recreational side you go out for a drink afterwards you hang out with your mates very much in tune with the culture we have in australia so and and it's similar in spain i'm sure so that that suits really really well but what i want to know and before i get to that though i do want to say to everyone watching and listening be sure to check out all the socials uh for pedal in one uh they are in the description or the caption below wherever you're watching or listening so go support what Pere and the team are doing because they're doing some incredible work in growing the game in Australia and beyond. So Pere, where does Pedel in One fit into this? So a little bit of the story behind it. You talked about, you know, more Park, Sydney, the Gold Coast, uh, opening uh, courts there. Tell me, tell me all about it. No, I think the idea of, of Pedel One uh, was uh, yeah, three years ago because uh, I realized when we approach to tennis clubs or people who is interested in uh, to build up a, a paddle club, uh, our idea is to provide their, uh, them uh, everything. So the idea of paddling one, it means all in one. So we start uh, working to, to design the project because maybe you don't know exactly how many courts can fit in your place or maybe it is a tennis club, give our advice. Okay, so we can put uh, some paddle courts in your tennis courts, but we need to measure up to, to make sure everything is okay. So, and also, yeah, dealing with the councils, we have, for example, a team of architects and engineers uh, to working to make sure we can uh, comply all the, the Australian uh, uh, regulations. And after that, we, we bring yeah, the, the paddle courts, we will uh, we set up and install all the all the courts. But, uh, and after that, I think is one, one important point for me is very important is about uh, the operational plan because okay it's uh, okay you can set up the, the, the club but you need to to work to bring people in and also to, to make yeah. sure yeah the, cl the club is working well because at the end for for me and also for for my team the most important is open a club people came to a club create a good atmosphere and then all the other clubs are gonna check oh what is that why is people coming to this club because they have paddle there so this is our idea. And also, yeah, my, my, my company, we have a team of 18 people working in different areas. So we have part of the team here in Spain, but also the other part of the team of, uh, in Australia. Because I think for me it's important uh, to get together the, these two walls, because in Spain we have more knowledge for, uh, for the experience and also from the last 20 years the paddle is growing here. But also in Australia, I find uh, yeah, the right people to, to help uh, me to develop this uh, this project because right now I'm in Barcelona do uh, the, the COVID but also I'm really happy because uh, all my team there they are they are doing a, a great job and now we are working yet yeah, to open three or four clubs this this year but uh, yeah we have yeah some uh, some uh, interesting and some emails not just only tennis clubs they have investors they have uh, people they play maybe in Europe or maybe another place and they oh I would like to yeah, to introduce the paddle as well here in Australia. And the idea for me is to join all together in, yeah, to, to work in to develop the paddle. And each one who is interested in open a club or be involved, uh, please uh, send me a message or contact with me. And I'm pretty happy, yeah, to help, uh, to give our experience and, and please uh, open a new club or get more people to play paddle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And like I said earlier, everyone watching and listening, be sure to get in touch with Pere through the socials that we've linked to the caption description wherever you are. Uh, Pere, look, I feel the conversation can keep running, but all good things do come to an end. Uh, in this instance, we will wrap it up with one last thought that I wanted from you. Uh, what do you sort of expect? Obviously, you've put in the investment, the time, the effort in growing the game here in Australia. What are your expectations for the sport in the future and and why is that the case yeah our our plans is uh in the next two or three years uh reach at least 25 clubs 
And in the future, uh, I believe uh, we can be the second sport, the second rocket sport in Australia, because I know, yeah, the squash and pickable, they are doing uh, great things. But I think at, at the end, it's the same situation in, the, in different countries, like in Spain, Italy, France, or even the uh, UK. The, the paddle is growing up very quick. And, and also for us, we would like to take the chance to do the same in, in Australia and in the future, yeah, to get more class, more people playing. And also now we have uh, the, the Australian national team uh, because this year we have uh, the World Cup in, in Qatar. I'm not sure they're going to allow to, to travel. But the idea is in the coming years uh, become uh, the first uh, the first federation in Asia Pacific and hopefully soon get a good people and good team to play in the international competitions. Fantastic. Well, we'll we'll wrap it up there, Perry. Look, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show, mate, and really, really excited to see how things pan out uh, in the pedal world here in Australia, but also globally, because there are great things happening. You are one of the, the pioneers on that front, especially this part of the world. So, you know, looking forward to seeing how things go and uh, everybody watching, listening. I've said this again and again, but be sure to check out the work that they're doing at Pedel and One, you just have to go click the link, follow them on their socials and check out the sport as well. There's lots of good videos on YouTube uh, to get an understanding. Thanks again, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. No, thank you very much for, for your time. And thank you for to help us to promote the, the sport. And hopefully soon I can come back to, to Australia and organize a game and play with you. Definitely, definitely. <laughs>